Many Divine Feminines right now are experiencing swift action and quick changes. A lot of decisive action. So this is really sharpening your sword of discernment. This is really embodying your Queen of Swords energy and having crystal clear clarity on the decision that you need to make that's truly connected to your truth in your heart space yet there's still an unknown and an uncertainty around it so there's this like level of fear which kind of can manifest as second guessing yourself but at the same time there's a lightness to your energy because you're acting from your truth and so there's a high level of discernment which a lot of divine feminines on this journey are not used to because this is breaking patterns of people pleasing and over giving and not standing up for yourself and not putting yourself first not upholding your values and your boundaries or allowing yourself to be taken advantage of in some way so this energy that's being amplified is your throat chakra and you being able to speak your truth with no longer the fear of rocking the boat. Like you're willing to speak your truth and be authentic regardless of the fallout and trust and knowing in your guidance that these are the right decisions for even though you don't necessarily see what's on the other side of it yet but you may be already experiencing new beginnings coming into your life as a result of you being able to take healthy decisive action with that sort of discernment so when you think of like the queen of swords energy this is very tied to the mental body and communication so this is very masculine dominant energy where you're able to clearly, decisively, and distinctive, distinctively speak your truth very concisely, calmly, and respectfully. So this is not falling into the shadows of the Queen of Swords where you can come off overly cold or bitchy or, you know, very rigid with your communication. This is just very matter of fact, like you're making decisions that around something that is no longer in alignment for you and you're making the decisions based on what your heart knows to be true you're speaking from your truth so you're not in your head about it although there is still this uncertainty around what's next for you what what's unfolding this you're you're accepting of this unknown because you're trusting Right, You're stepping into the unknown and you're trusting and you're just willing and able now to trust your inner truth and trust that inner voice and trust your wisdom and your intuition and make decisions tethered from your heart and from your truth so there's no mental confusion around the decision that needs to be made. So Previously, there would be a lot of mental confusion and indecisiveness around decisions that left any form of uncertainty or evoked any kind of fear or triggered that core wound that would always cause you to people please. And so people pleasing is 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 no longer a thing for you. You're truly moving into your empress energy and remember your empress energy is really the embodiment of the four queen energies in the tarot deck and the tarot is just a metaphor of this spiritual journey representing all of the different archetypes that are pertinent to fully awakening on your path as a divinely sovereign being and so the Empress is embodying all of the queens and integrating all of their shadows. And the Queen of Swords shadow is very indecisive uh, decision making. So either you don't make a decision or you're just very indecisive about it and you're stuck in fear-based energies 
And this is largely tied to the need to people please, which is a coping mechanism needing to contort yourself and, and, and bend yourself and pretzel yourself into whatever somebody else needs in order for you to get the validation you need from them. So it's actually kind of like a covert manipulation tendency, more on the subconscious level. It's not purely intentional, but it is manipulative because you're trying to control a situation to get a certain outcome. You try to control certain situations or people in order to get the outcome of them reflecting back to you what you need in order to feel loved and accepted and good enough. But as you've been going inward for that validation and you're not seeking that validation outside of yourself anymore, the people-pleasing has dissolved and you're able to fully open up your throat chakra and speak very confidently what it is you need to share with with whatever area of your life needs shifting and you're able to speak from the heart and from your truth and no longer from those fear-based energies. The people-pleasing is rooted in ultimately a belief and a conditioning that you have to be liked in order to be okay. And this is because over time you've replaced love for a need for being liked or admiration or external approval or validation in some way because at some level in your development you didn't receive the love that you needed and so this usually stems from childhood when we're developing our core sense of self and if needs weren't met at a younger age then we often carry a sense of shame within us because we have no choice at that age but to internalize things so if we're not receiving love or our needs being met at a certain age we tend to internalize it as a sense of shame like I'm not good enough because we don't have the mental faculties yet to really you know evaluate a situation and say okay what's happening right now isn't because I'm not good enough or because I'm not lovable or because I'm not worthy it's because this person isn't operating from their heart space or because this person isn't able to come from love because they're dealing with their own things and so we don't have that rationalization when we're younger so we internalize things as it's as if it's on us and it's our fault that we're not being loved and nurtured the way that we deserve and so then we grow up and we tend to replace that love that we never received and we go out and try to fill that void with external forms of love being liked adored appreciated and and valued in something else or someone else and so we're needing that external validation And people-pleasing is a way to get that external validation because now you can operate as whatever you need to operate as in order to get the desired outcome, which is someone or something reflecting back to you that you're good enough and that you're, you're appreciated and that you're liked, which is just replacement for being loved. And this can also be just seeking that love and and in a replacement for that love within that you never were able to cultivate within because you've been conditioned with this sense of inner shame. And this is not your fault. That all gets triggered, right? All of your self-abandonment gets triggered. Every place that you've been running from yourself and seeking that validation outside of yourself gets triggered on this journey. And for a lot of divine feminines that have been going through the waves of 
integration and dark night of the soul, death and rebirth, and really peeling away those layers of untruth and facing their own shadow, right? Like the covert manipulation associated with people pleasing and overgiving and really shining a light on that and taking ownership of that. Now you're able to move into really integrating that sacred masculine energy, which is very much associated with the Queen of Swords energy, by taking decisive, clear, concise action and speaking your truth and speaking from your heart and taking that sword and cutting yourself free from all of the different entanglements that have been keeping you from fully thriving in your fullest potential, from being able to fully express yourself authentically. You know, you have healthy discernment and you know what is right and in alignment for you and what is not. And this doesn't mean that you fall into the shadows of the Queen of Swords where you're acting from a cold-hearted place or you're overly stern or you're not connected to your heart energy. No, no, no. This is where it's all becoming integrated, right? Right. You're taking action. You're no longer in the corner just allowing things to happen that are not in your highest and greatest good. And the beautiful part of this is that you're trusting, Right, So your high priestess energy is being activated here as well because there's still unknown variables and uncertainty around the decisions that you're making, but you're fully trusting the divine and you're trusting in yourself. And this is key because before you weren't able to do that, you would fall back into the fear-based energies and you would fall into then indecisiveness and a lack of mental clarity around what needed to be done. So if you think of like the two of swords energy, which is, you know, underdeveloped energy compared to the queen, there's a choice to be made in the two of swords energy represented by the two swords and the person on the card in most depictions are the person is blindfolded. So they can't see clearly the decision that needs to be made. The swords represent the mental body there's a lot of confusion, mental confusion. And so a lot of times you would stay stuck as depicted on the Two of Swords energy. So that's just an example, but that's not happening anymore. You are clear. There is mental clarity around the decision, even though there are still unknown variables and uncertainty, but you're fully trusting in your heart and in the divine and in your intuition that you're able to take quick, decisive action that comes from the heart towards what is right for you and that's in alignment with your values and what you want to create in your world and you're willing to cut yourself free from any entanglements that have been keeping you from your full potential so you can fully take your power back and as a result of these endings there are new beginnings coming into your life very swiftly and you may already see the these coming in you may already know what some of these new beginnings are or you sense them your knowingness your intuition senses them and you just know and you don't know how you know right the mental clarity is there for the discernment that's the healthy sacred masculine energy for the discernment and the sacred action that needs to be taken. But it is rooted in your feminine essence, your intuition, your knowingness, and tethered to your heart. And that's enough for you. That's enough for you. And it is catapulting you in to your power and your empress energy, which fully embodies the highest essence of all the queens and has integrated all of their shadows. So that is what is coming through right now that I wanted to share. If you would like support on your journey and you're ready to fully claim your divine sovereignty as a divinely worthy woman, I invite you to check out Embody the Empress 
which is my divine feminine monthly immersion. You can check out all the details in the caption below this video. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.